Screw you, Dad. I'm taking my faggio to that new coffee shop by Mirror Park and smoking weed all day because it's 2018 and retro was cool again. No, I'm not taking my scarf off. It's who I am. Here I go. Scooter Brothers. 1969 Pagasi Faggio. I find it odd that a company like Pagasi, famous for cars like the Infernus and the Centornal, makes something as quaint as this. Although I suppose you have to start somewhere. The Faggio has held many roles in the GTA universe, from the Pizza Boy in Vice City to the Noodle Boy in LCS. The Faggio was never a fast bike, but it made up for it with quick handling, a perfect vehicle for delivering pizzas in Vice City. The Faggio is part of the GTA Veterans miniseries in Arsha San Andreas, where it is a vehicle, like the Infernus, that has stuck around for most of the series. This is also one of the few vehicles that have remained practically unchanged throughout the series. As I stated earlier, the Faggio started out in GTA Vice City, more resembling a Piaggio. Is that how you pronounce it? Piaggio? Piaggio Vespa 50 Special. Faggio being a play on word of the manufacturer of the real life counterpart. It remained through the series up until GTA 4, where it was replaced with a more modern version otherwise known as the Faggio Sport and GT Online. The Faggio returned in its classic style in the Battle of the Tony DLC for GTA 4. As I stated before, the Faggio is on a fast bike. However, it made up for it with excellent handling, lightweight, and acceleration. This can be said about all the renditions throughout the 3D universe. Up until GTA 5 came out. They completely nerfed it for absolutely no reason. Now, the Faggio was slower than ever, acceleration is extremely sluggish, and don't even get me started about trying to go uphill. I'll talk about that in a minute, but let's talk about the engine. How many cylinders has it got? One. One? It's two-stroke. The Faggio features a two-stroke single-cylinder engine. Now, the wiki page says that the Faggio also has a CVT gearbox despite the fact you can hear the sound of gears changing. However, since CVT gearboxes did not start becoming commonplace until the 2000s in real life, and this bike is clearly based on one from the 60s, I'm going to go ahead and say that this does not have a CVT gearbox. Now the wiki page also says that some people think the Faggio was powered by some kind of electric motor. Now, I also do believe this is wrong, because basically what I think Rockstar did was they took the existing sounds of the Faggio from GTA 4 and just brought them over GTA 5. It's a bit cheap, I know, but it really did the engine sound some justice by making a much better engine sound for the Faggio mod. However, that's another bike for another video. Okay, so, you see this clip here? See how fast I'm going? Pretty good, right? Well, of course, that's because I'm going downhill. Now, here's a clip of me going uphill. I'm going so slow, the NPC behind me has to keep slamming the brakes so they won't hit me. It's both funny and pathetic. In the end, the Faggio, despite poor performance and a crappy engine, the Faggio is still a fun bike to drive, as long as they are mostly on flat roads, or go downhill. If you really want to get a screw in GTA 5, however, I'd recommend you save up and get the Faggio mod. It's not too expensive, it's faster, sounds way better, and has lots of cosmetic mods, if you're into that. All in all, the Faggio is fun, but it ain't as good as it once was. <laughs> see you guys next time. This has been Arch Arch and Andreas, and I'll see y'all next week. And as always, links to the videos I use are in the description. Uh, until next time, see y'all guys uh, later. <laughs>